I've been interviewing a lot of producers lately who say that learning how to engineer is a must for producers. Do you agree with this? And then if you do, why? Um, maybe I can answer this a little bit better. Shout out to QC and mixbot.com. Um, he was the one who honestly dropped that gem that said, look, if you want your placement rate to kind of increase, become an engineer because now you're a one-stop shop. You know, when the artist comes in and asks for beats because you're a producer, now you have every right to pull up all of your material. And then once they say, oh, pull that up, now you have a placement, whether it's released or unreleased, you still have that experience. You know, it it builds it up. It builds your catalog up, I will say. It gives you more opportunity as doing both versus just one. Um, and plus, as producer engineer, if I'm the engineer running the session, I can be there with you all day, all night. The producers are, you know, in and out. So that's my advice. Yeah, and that's worked for you in terms of increasing um, your placements as, as you became a team? Yeah, I'd say so, especially now that, like I said in the earlier, um, our workflow in the beginning was her going to studio sessions and I was at home. So I would literally be at home making beats and she would be in a studio session with an artist. Uh, if she needed a beat or if she needed a beat changed, I could have did it right there at home on top of her being in the studio session versus like, you know, some placements are missed out on that if you can't edit the beat right then and there because it's, it's about the feeling and the artist is really quick sometimes. The attention spans are quick. Ideas are quick. So anytime you have like a slow session, they're on to the next idea. And that allowed us to work like double time because I was at home with FL pulled up and she was in the studio with Pro Tools pulled up. 